Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design the summit trigger using the LM741 OPAM and we will be designing this particular circuit using LT Spice, KiCad and Multisim tool and we will try to compare the result and how user friendly these tools are. Before going into this tutorial I request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below you can refer to this particular circuit design calculation for this particular inverting summit trigger circuit now let us start the design using the KiCad tool so click on file select new select project and save this particular project as summit trigger now double click on summit trigger and you can see the schematic window now click on place symbol and place this particular symbol on the schematic window now from the library we have to select lm741 OPAM for this particular design. So type LM741 and place this particular OPAM on the schematic window. Now right click on the OPAM, click on properties, define the reference as U1 and define the aspect as mirror around Y axis. Click on edit spice model now we have to select the file so select the model file as lm741 and define the type as subcircuit click on alternate node sequence and define this alternate node sequence as 32746 and click ok uh, right click and again click on properties edit property define this as mirror around x-axis and click OK. Now we have to place the resistor of 180 kilo ohm and 39 kilo ohm in our design. So type P spice. And we have to select the resistor symbol. So place this particular resistor symbol in the schematic window so place two resistor which would be 180 kilo ohm and 39 kilo ohm in our design now click on place port and we have to place the ground connection in this particular circuit now we have to place the voltage source for this particular circuit so type P spice and place three different voltage source in this tutorial so the two different voltage source is the supply voltage source for the op-amp and the another voltage source acts as an input now click on place port and place the ground connection in the schematic window right click on ground and click on duplicate and place this particular ground on the schematic window or click on place global label and define the label as V in next we have to place the global label V in which would be connected to the input of the op-amp next place the global label vcc and place the global label vee again place the global label vee near the terminal number four and place the global label vcc near the terminal number seven now right click 
on the resistor click on property edit property define the reference as r1 define the value as 180 kilo ohm and click ok similarly right click on resistor and select properties edit property define the reference as r2 the value as 39 kilo ohm and click ok now click on wire connect the v in to terminal 2 of the op amp vee to terminal 4 and vcc to terminal 7 vcc to the positive end of the voltage supply and the ground is connected to the terminal number 2 of the voltage supply and v in to terminal 1 and v2 to the ground now connect the output of the op amp to resistor r1 and from resistor r1 to resistor r2 and then to the ground connect the terminal number 3 to the resistor r1 and r2 now click on place and select the graphical text now we have to define the input called as tran and define the start time and the stop stop time so we will define 5 millisecond and 10 millisecond Now we have to define the voltage source so right click on the voltage source define the reference as VCC and the value as 0 and click on edit spice model and define the DC value as 12 volt similarly right click on another voltage source click on edit properties define the reference as VEE value as 0 click on edit spice model define the DC value as minus 12 volt and click OK next right click on the voltage source click on properties edit property define the reference as P in value as 0 and click on sinusoidal DC offset as 0 amplitude as 2 volt and frequency as 1 kilohertz and click OK now we have to simulate this particular design so save this particular design and we have to place no connections across the terminal 1 and terminal 5 now click on tools click on simulator click on run and stop simulation place the probe on input and next place the probe on the output of the op amp now you can see the output waveform of the summit trigger circuit using the KiCad tool now we will design the summit trigger circuit using the LT spice tool so click on component and we have to select the op amp LM741 for this particular tutorial so select LM741 and place this particular op amp on the schematic window now we have to place the resistor R1 and R2 which is of 180 kilo ohm and 39 kilo ohm now click on the right click on the resistor R1 and define the resistance value as 180 kilo ohm right click on resistor R2 and define the resistor value as 39 kilo ohm and click OK now click on ground and place the ground connection in the schematic window next click on component we have to select the voltage source 
which would be the input as well as the supply voltage. Now right click on the voltage source and we can define the DC value as 12 volt. Right click on V1 and define this as VCC. Right click on V2 and define this as VEE and right click on the voltage source define the DC value as minus 12 volt. Now place the ground connection across the voltage source terminal. Right click on V3 click on advanced select sign define the DC offset as 0 amplitude as 2 volt frequency as 1 kilohertz and define this particular V3 source as Vn and click OK. Now click on wire extend the wire across the voltage source Vn similarly we have to do for VCC and VE. We also have to place a label net that is Vn across the voltage source Vn. Next click on wire and connect the output of the op amp to resistor R1 and from R1 to R2 and from R2 to the ground connect the positive terminal of the op amp between the resistor R1 and R2 and the negative terminal will be named as V input. Now extend the wire across the positive and the negative terminal of the supply voltage of op amp and place the label net VCC and VEE. Next click on label net and place the label net VN across the input. Now click on edit and define this particular stop time as 0.01. Click on wire and extend the wire across the VCC and across VEE. Now we have to place the label net VCC and VEE across the extended wire. Now let us run this particular simulation. Place the probe on V in and place the probe on V out. Now you can see the transient analysis of the summit trigger circuit using LM741. Next we will simulate the summit trigger circuit using the multisim tool. So click on component section and select the component as LM741. Select the group as all group and then select LM741H and place this particular component on the schematic window. Now in order to flip the component right click and click on flip vertically. Now click on the resistor and select the resistor value as 180 kilo ohm and place this particular resistor on the schematic window. Now we have to place another resistor which is of 39 kilo ohm and place this particular resistor in the schematic window. Now we have to click on sources and we have to place the signal voltage source and the ground connection. So click on ground and place the ground connection on the schematic window. Next we have to define the voltage source for the op amp that is the supply voltage source. So place VDD and VSS across the terminal 
number 7 and terminal number 4. Now double click on PDD, define the voltage as 12 volt, double click on VSS, define the voltage as minus 12 volt. Now connect the terminal number 4 to VSS and terminal number 7 to VDD. Next we have to connect the output of the op amp to resistor R1 and from resistor R1 to resistor R2 and from resistor R2 to the ground. Connect the terminal number 3 to resistor R1 and R2 and we place the signal voltage source. So click on AC voltage and place this particular voltage source on the schematic window. Next we have to also place the ground connection. So place this particular ground connection on the schematic window. Connect the supply voltage V1 to pin number 2 of the op amp. Now let the peak to peak voltage be 2 volt and frequency as 1 kilohertz. Click on instrument, click on oscilloscope. Place this particular oscilloscope on the schematic window. Connect the channel A to the output of op amp and place the ground connection on the schematic window. Now connect the ground to negative terminal of channel A and negative terminal of channel B and the channel B is connected to the input of particular circuit design. Now click on simulate and click on analyze and simulation. Now before this we have to see the net name value. So the net name value is 1 and the net name value for the input is 3. So go to simulate, click on analyze and simulation. In the output define the variable as v1 and the other variable as v3 and run this particular simulation. You can see the transient analysis of the Schmitt trigger circuit using the multisim tool. Now in order to have an interactive simulation, select interactive simulation and run this particular simulation. Double click on the oscilloscope and change the scale accordingly. Define the scale as 2 milliseconds per division and the scale of channel A as 10 volt per division and channel B 5 volts per division. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.